Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so excited to share this one with you, man. I've been dreaming about putting this together for several years now, ever since I started putting equipment away for it. And dreaming about discus and researching hot water plants and getting an idea of what I'm going to do to put this thing together. So I wanted to share with you guys my idea. So this is what it looked like when I first filled it with water. And then you got about a month later. And then this is about two months into it. About two and a half months. This is the scape I came up with over several days of tinkering with it. It fits together nicely on the left just like this. And on the right I used the isolation board to create some depth there. To keep this stuff from settling. I'm using the ADA power substrate system with fluvial stratum and La Plata sand by ADA. I started off putting the power sand advance down. This is going to help create a bacteria colony in the substrate. Um, topped off with the uh, Bacter 100, Tourmaline BC, and Super Clear. This also helped kind of boost that biome inside the substrate. It's just uh, stuff to feed the bacteria. And these are something different. If you ever heard of Universal Rocks, it's fake hardscape that won't change your water parameters and um, it's meant to be super light and indestructible but they come in a little dirty so you gotta clean them up it's just something I invested in when I first came out years ago I was pretty stoked about it but I think I would rather have natural hardscape to be honest real rocks and wood this is the only thing I have that's fake but it's just something different and I wanted to check it out there is a 12 different individual stacking rocks from them I bought A through I and there's uh, three pieces of mist wood. I think there's two, three, and four. The zero, zero, two, zero, zero, three, zero, zero, four piece. And there's two heater covers. So I'm running two 200 watt bulk resupply titanium heaters. Here I've started out with laying down ADA sand, but I ended up pulling this a uh, couple months, figured out that this tank with so much fluval stratum and injecting CO2 with my pH was buffered all the way down to 6, 6.2. And I have hard tap water, like in your normal neutral 7.2 mid sevens. And I ordered, so I ordered this tanker discus, which are hard water discus. So I needed to not buffer this tank so bad. I needed to bring it up so I used some uh, carob sea aragonite um, ordered some crushed coral as well um, throw in the sand to kind of help uh, bring that back up the plants I ordered from uh, Dustin's fish tanks are uh, yellow bacopa some parrot feather crip balance some dwarf sagittaria some uh, crip pygmaea red and crip lutea I got some uh, hygrophilia cordata a red tiger lotus, which I should have went with the dwarf kind. The Hygrophilia coriambrosa compacta, some baby tears. Got some pygmy chain sword as my carpeting plant. And a Blixel japonica robin species is that big bush I ended up putting in the right side. And I threw some Godzilla buce in there as well as uh, some leftover Anubius nana petite and some golden Anubius. I'm planting this on. Keeping in mind, I'm, my thought is what the plant's going to look like when it grows out. So each plant has its place, really. And so I started with the Crip Balance. It's going to be a tall grass-like plant in the background. And I made sure the mid-ground plants weren't going to be giant plants. You know, any tall stem plants stay towards the back. And anything in the front is going to be like the pygmy chainsaw and carpeting plants, some smaller crypts, you know. Um, 
I ordered quite a bit of plants so towards the end I'm just kind of seeing where I can fill and what I can do and I also added some plants along the way some Anubias and some Buse that I had left over to load with another plant. Thanks. Python makes a pretty cool attachment for a submersible pump and um, you can find that at their website but I use this Home Depot trash barrel that I found they call it the Slim Jim it's a 23 gallon rubber made 8 inch I believe it is um, barrel kind of shaped nice to fit right on the side of the tank but in there is my heater and submersible pump I fill it to about 20 gallons at a time 
to keep my water changing the same temperature. But I'm using that uh, python hook there to make it kind of nice. Rolling with the 48 inch 3.0 by Fluval and a Twin Star Nano Plus Algae Inhibitor. An FX4 filter with the FX4 series spray bar kit. Also a heater controller by uh, Innovative Marine, the Helio 5 uh, bulk resupply set of it. Also chose the serene background, the LED light shines up onto a uh, frosted background and kind of changes through an array of colors. A controller by a uh, remote, different programs. You can see the time lapse here, it's pretty cool. I chose this to try something different. I got turned on to it. I like. A lot of thought went into underneath this tank and everything running it. I had to set it up with some flooring from our house glued to some expanded PVC foam board. First of all, the grommets had to fit the cord lengths of the equipment that they were running, and everything had to fit on the board mounted in a certain manner. It's ran by a, a Casa Wi-Fi power strip, so every individual plug on that power strip is ran by an app on my phone, Wi-Fi controlled on its own schedule. So far, I haven't found any limitations to the schedule, but I had to keep in mind all these wet cords like the CO2 airlines and the heaters that are coming from the tank. I didn't want them to drip. Uh, if there are any spring a leak or any water would run down the cord, it wouldn't drip down onto my electronics. I also found a uh, extra large kitty litter pin to put my FX4 in, and it fits perfectly underneath the stand. In case I spring a leak, I can catch it early. Another cool tip that I want to share with you guys is installing some magnets on your door to hang some of your tools. I think it's pretty handy. It's been several months. I moved at angelfish over and went over to Dan's fish picked up some golden Congo tetras and some giant auto sinkless and everything's come together nicely man the tank is grown in and it's still got a long way to go but everything's great I went ahead and ordered the discus and they actually arrived today I'm pretty excited to uh, go ahead and get to filming those stay tuned for the next video I really appreciate your help and support. Take care.